Hello there, I'm over here. I'm Darcy May. Welcome to our special Christmas story time. You don't need to see me anyway. I'm just doing the reading. Princess Foxy Lady of Maine came up with this idea for you guys. As you can see, we have Mother Mouse right here in front of you. Let me get her out of the way. Okay, we can see we got four little squirrels all ready for the story. Mother Mouse Tells Kids Her Special Christmas Story by me, Darcy May. Do you remember the Thanksgiving story? Okay, we're going to continue on from there. Are you ready? That is Mother Mouse. This is her house. It's holiday season, Mother Mouse is at home. She has a small fireplace. In it, fire burns and glows. The month is December, it's very cold outside and snow is piling up. It's also getting high. It is the morning of the day that's Christmas Eve. This morning, she'll tell her special Christmas story. Earlier this morning, Christmas cookies she made and baked in the oven for kids to eat today. Mother Mouse is special because she loves all children. Whether they're boys or girls, it makes no difference. Today, instead of a dress that is colored blue, she's wearing a green one and a red apron, too. A red bonnet she has on the top of her head to keep her feet warm in her red slippers she stacked. Her gold-colored glasses are perched upon her nose. She looks through them to see clearly where she does go. Christmas cookies cooled on a counter on the top. Mother Mouse looked at them. There are plenty, she thought. In the oven roasting was a stuffed Christmas goose. Potatoes were boiling and chopped up carrots too. Gravy she'll make later and yeast rolls she will bake. She likes them both made last before her fruit is ate. For dessert yesterday, she baked a pecan pie. It is on her table. It must cool to taste right. Cranberry sauce is in the fridge and staying cold. Some whipped cream for the pie is in the fridge also. Two drinks, apple cider. It can be cold or hot. She'll decide when she eats because both of them she's got. Mother Mouse cooks up her dinner on Christmas Eve because she makes so much. Two days from it, she she eats. She'll eat some later and put leftovers away. She'll warm and eat the rest when it is Christmas Day. Mother Mouse looked up at the clock to see the time. It is getting close to 10 a.m., she did find. She shut off all the food that's cooking on the stove. She mashed the carrots first, then mashed the potatoes. She put the lids on them so warm they both would stay. The goose is still roasting quite a while. It does take stuff for gravy and rolls she had ready to use. She'll cook and bake them. When done roasting is the goose. She picked up the cookies that went in a basket. After her story, each young mouse kid one will get. Her rocking chair, she moved closer to the fireplace. She moved the couch and chairs. Lots of room she did make. Mother Mouse looked up at the clock quick one more time. It is 10 a.m. now. It is time. She did fine. She heard footsteps outside. She heard them on her porch. She looked out. It's the first mouse kid coming. Of course. Let's see if I can fix this a little better. She can't. Tell stories out on her porch. It is cold. Not only is it cold, but on the ground is snow. Mother Mouse walked to her front door and opened it. She said, morning, hello, hi, welcome. Please come in. 
the mouse kid walked inside and then took off her boots. She took off gloves and hat and took off her coat too. Boots went against the wall so they're out of the way. Hat and gloves and pockets, that's how they're put away. Coat is hung on a hook. Mice kids know the routine. After that, they sit down and wait for the story. More knocks came on the door. More mice children arrive. Mother Mouse opens her door each and every time. When all mice kids were there, then Mother Mouse does know. She went to her rocking chair, turned, and sat down slow. She said, hello, children. Hi, Mother Mouse, all the kids said back the same time and did say politely. That made Mother... That made Mother Mouse smile. Good manners they do have. They learn from her story, as a matter of fact. Mother Mouse said, I'm glad you all have made it here. I have a special Christmas story for you to hear. Do you remember the Thanksgiving story I told all of you this year? It's one all of you liked. The young mice, boys and girls, smiled and nodded their heads. Their heads went up and down. Yes, is what they all said. Mother Mouse said, that's good. That does make me happy. That means you remember the poor mouse family. Well, after that Thanksgiving and us making new friends, we thought about Christmas and giving them presents. We each thought on our own what we wanted to do. Gifts for our family we also had to do. On December 1st, we had a horrible storm. I was worried about my little friend, of course. Okay. We're going to stop there for part one. Be back with part two of Mother Mouse Tells Her Special Christmas Story with me, Darcy May, and Princess Foxy Lady of Maine.